My name is Mohammed, and I am going to talk about a musically aware system for browsing and interacting with audio music collections. Should so? Okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. Just to start, this is the the outline of the of the talk. I will start with the motivation why we are we trying to to do such system. So as you could see in this, um, you can see in this, uh, in the project description, this is a picture that uh, depicts the the main tasks of the Com Music project. So intuitively, we will think that this uh, uh, tool for interacting and, and browsing music collection will lay in the discovery system uh, task. But I'd rather think that it's a wrapper of all the tasks that we are doing in the project. So I won't be talking only about the interface, but also about all the building blocks from which the, the interface builds upon. Uh, the project's aims, uh, sorry, the interface aims are twofold. One is to enhance our research, and the second one is to showcase all the research that will be carried out throughout the, the project. So what follows is the System overview, this is a software architecture representation of, of the system. And we could basically distinguish between three blocks or layers. The first one, uh, it's the data sources for, that we are gathering. The second one is basically what we'll, where the, all our research will lay. And the third one is the presentation layer, where we want to visualize our uh, data, or process data, or publish it. We're well, talking about the visualization. The aim is to have an online web application that in the future, because this is just a, a preliminary version, as I said, in the future, it will allow us to browse our uh, music collections using their metadata. It will also allow us to visualize audio features it will allow users to add comments in these uh, audio features, for example. And it will help to discover recordings that share few uh, peculiarities, like same intonation profiles, structural elements, and so on. So basically, this system will, the aim of the system will be to promote research education and enriched listening. This is just a, a list of some few use cases that uh, this system will allow us to do. So going back to the software architecture diagram, let's go briefly through these three main blocks. So first of all, the uh, data sources. So audio recordings are gathered and their metadata is um, uh, save it into the music database music brains whilst the audio is stored in our local audio database. Obviously we are still far from having a decent number of collections for the different art music traditions that we are working on so it's our work and by uh, when I say our it's the the whole team work to help improve or uh, to upload more CDs to music brains. Then the editorial and the descriptive metadata. We should add this editorial metadata to music brains. And it will also be nice to contribute in improving uh, Wikipedia articles. And regarding the low level audio features, we want that we want th that they should be state of the art uh, features so that we rely on them. They should be considered as a grounding from which we build uh, more high-level audio features. Then we also want to gather audio scores for those cultures that um, use them, like, for example, the Macan music in Turkey. And finally, semantic information coming from community data, what is called also uh, user-generated content that can come from blogs, 
from dedicated websites, from online discussion forums, and also from uh, Wikipedia. Why not? The second layer, as I said, contains basically the current and pending research work of the project. So we should work on defining an ontology that will help our machines to process better the data. And what is processing better the data? Basically, in this second layer, we want to work on uh, data processing, which includes audio mid-level and high-level descriptors, such as melodic, rhythmic, motifs, semantic descriptors coming from social communities, like interactions, discussions, emotions. I would like to, to know the lineage from this uh, user-generated content. And building on top of that, we would like to work on similarity measures and from uh, data linking. So data linking will include heuristic for the combinations of these different sources. For example, we would like, as we were discussing this uh, last three days, about audio to score section matching, which in fact it will be really interesting to have it in our uh, uh, interface. And then there is the presentation layer. Uh, besides the web application, we would like to publish our data so that it can be used by others. We want it to be open and linked. But what does that mean? It means open data means that everyone can use this data, can reuse it, and can publish it. And linked data means to publish structured data so that it can be uh, linked with other web services and to get information from other uh, web services. So the linking open data is a project by the World Wide Web Consortium that uh, aims at uh, interlinking different um, web applications. I will just highlight some of the audio, uh, some ones related to music, like Music Brains, Chamendo, Music Brains, Altkist, can't read really from here. So basically we want our uh, system to be one of these circles here. All the data that we are going to work on during the project, we want it to be linked and shared with all the other uh, web applications. Um, so I'm, I'm think I'm, I'm <laughs> I went really fast over the slides. This is basically the work plan. And uh, uh, what I wanted to say here is that the first, this presentation layer is a uh, is mostly a development uh, part, so this will be uh, done by uh, Alistair and maybe by me and Gopal. But this second layer is where all our research will lay, so it's the responsibility of all the music members to help work in this uh, processing layer. But not only in this processing layer, we will really highlight this one, because we're still far from having uh, great collections, so we would like you all to help us uh, get more CDs, upload their metadata to music brains, and um, get all sort of music scores and editorial information and semantic information. Basically, I wanted to highlight this one because I am working on this semantic information part, and it's really hard for me to get uh, a list of, of relevant uh, websites or uh, forums or blogs that talk about uh, Carnatic music or Hindustani music. So if you have uh, any idea of this uh, sort of, uh, of websites, please let me know. And uh, last but not least, we are still uh, thinking about a, a name for this, uh, for this system. For now, we have called it, uh, sorry, the Com Music Browser. But as you see, I said that it will be a system for browsing, for interacting, for visualizing audio features, for letting users add in uh, comments, tags, 
or other sort of contributions, so the browser world doesn't make any sense anymore. So if you just think about any uh, catchy name, uh, please uh, let us know. And I think that's all for me. Ten minutes. Thank you very much.